Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So it's been a little while since I've actually picked up my camera and vlogged. Now, that being said, I have been picking up my camera every so often. I'm trying to start a vlog. Oh, why is my hand like this? Yeah, I just took my makeup off as well. And it's just given me my birthday present. So I open the card first, or? Yeah, the card's funny. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen your handwriting. Really? Well, when do we ever write? Oh, sure, actually. <laughs> Oh my god, I actually love that. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so accurate. It's sick, isn't it? <laughs> Look how accurate that is. Apart from my ass is smaller. I was like, in the shop and I was like, that is thing. too much. You're a dumb bitch. You are a dumb bitch. Anna. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Actually, shut the fuck up. <laughs> are we going to be twins? Oh! You are kidding. Oh. Oh my god, you're no, kidding. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my god, fuck. Byron wanted a clothes rail for his birthday, and I was like, I'm not buying a clothes rail. Then he went an iPad plug. <laughs> and, and I bought I was one. Like, not buying you an iPad plug. Because so I was sat there, and I was oh, like, what the hell am I going to buy him? And I was like, Oh. Anna, you are kidding, like for real. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Twins. Oh, now can we get married? You. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> The thing is, I'm either really, really busy to the point where I can't vlog and it's stuff that I can't speak about, or I'm literally doing absolutely nothing to vlog. So I've been sort of in the predicament of the two. But that being said, I'm picking up my camera today. It's now the evening time. I basically am going on my first ever brand trip tomorrow. So I'm heading to Paris with Gap and the Into app. Now I know that sounds like a tongue twister. I'm going to Paris with Into and Gap tomorrow. So I'm super, super excited. I've never ever been on a brand trip. But just to top it all off, I woke up this morning feeling literally awful. I was meant to be at uni all day today but I spent the entire day in bed because last night, randomly out of nowhere, I was fine one minute and then the next I was having hot flushes and I just felt awful. You know when you're like coming down with a cold and your breath feels warm or like when you breathe out your nose it's like warm air? Well that started happening and I was just like no this is not it. So I got a bunch of vitamins and stuff in me last night. I'm gonna head to Westfields now because obviously I'm going literally in the morning and I need to leave my house at half eight tomorrow morning and I haven't done or packed or got anything prepared because I've been so so busy these past couple of days getting everything done that I need to get done because so obviously I'm going to Paris for like four days so I'm not going to be able to do anything of like my stuff what I need to do here because I'm not going to be here. I've been really really busy and then to top it all off my body decides to hate me and get ill. I'm feeling a little bit better now I think because I've rested all day and actually like took care of myself you know paracetamol got some vitamins in. That being said I'm going to meet Haz now in Westfields it's currently like half past five I need to go to the post office and I also need to get some toothpaste and stuff like I said because I don't really have anything like little mini toiletries don't have any so I need to go grab those but yeah, that's the situation. I'm gonna do a little pack with me, get ready with me for Paris tonight, and then the Paris vlogs will start from tomorrow. Basically, we're going out there to shoot a bunch of content for Gap and their socials. So I've literally got two big bags full of Gap clothes down there, which I'll show you all as I'm packing them in my suitcase, but that's the reason we're going out there. So you can imagine, shooting all day for like four days, nine till five, is really not gonna be ideal if I feel like shit. So we're gonna try and mend that. I'm gonna go to Superdrug and get a bunch of like throw-up sprays and stuff to take with me so I can at least manage what I've got. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I feel better in the morning. Morning. I don't know if you can see this but the sky is literally like black it doesn't look it in my camera because it's really good at like correcting colors but like the sky damn it looks like there's gonna be some sort of thunderstorm I don't know if I need to. No, I'm just gonna do the whole, I'm in Primark. So we're currently in Primark. I've been in Westfields for like, how long have we been here? Like two hours? Yeah. We went to Pizza Express, I went to the post office. I think because I've literally been in bed all day long that when I went to the post office and started doing stuff, my brain wasn't, I felt like I said to Haz, I felt like I would go in in slow motion. So I must have been in the post office on my own for like 45 minutes, sending like three parcels. The people in there must have thought I were like shoplifting or something. Now we're in Primark, we've been to Pizza Express, refueled. We're in Primark because Haz is doing a video with her. So she's just trying out some makeup to see what she wants to buy. How's it going? Laugh. Can't find my shade. Fab. Oh, you've not been in my vlog since you've got new glasses. Hi, these are my new glasses. Has copied my frames and I got them in a slightly really different nice. one. I just went into Superdrug as well and got a bunch of like stuff for my throat. I was literally stood in there on FaceTime to my mom. Like, mom, what the hell do I even buy? Because I'm literally a child. So we've got all that sorted. I've got some stuff that I'm going to take on the Eurostar and stuff. I need to get honey and lemon actually had on the way back when I met. I'm going to get sugar as well. Yeah, we honey, do. lemon, and sugar. I'm going to make myself a little little lemon. smoothie to drink tonight. Well, not a smoothie, but my mom told me to put honey and lemon in warm water and drink that so that's what I'm gonna do so thanks mom 
It's now 8.30 and we're still in Primark. I'm literally sat in like the little seating area because Haz has been in the queue for probably like an hour and 20 minutes at this point, like no exaggeration. I was laid on the little thing, do you know when you like try shoes on in the mirror? I was laid on that with my eyes closed and obviously there were people walking all around me. I was like, you know what, I'm so over this. So I just laid there with my eyes closed. I was like not asleep, but do you know when like you feel like you're asleep but you can hear everything? And a guy came, tapped me on the leg. I'm like, excuse me, I just need to try these shoes on. And <laughs> I'm just fucking laid practically asleep on the little shoe bed thing. So that was an experience. I was so embarrassed. I'm just sat here now with a migraine. Like when I touch my head, like here, what is this part of your temple? I can feel it pulsating like I'm ill. And I've got to go back and pack and edit and sort my life out. And then I'm getting up tomorrow morning. I've got to leave my house by half eight. That's fun. So we're finally back from Westfields. I'm gonna do a little haul of my super drug stuff. I'm saying I'm gonna do a haul. It's literally just like tablets and tablets and tablets because apparently I'm an actual crack whore. So I have some paracetamol, some ibuprofen, and then I have this throat spray, which I'm gonna use now actually. It says it's a cough and throat spray released from so throats and coughs reduces ho hoarseness. Hoarseness. It's a cute little spray bottle. So as you can see, I've been sent this by Benefit. So it's a new spray in your mouth. So you put it in your mouth and spray. I keep and it's really bad. Shitting and farting, shitting and farting. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. How the fuck are you not meant to swallow it? This is... I had to swallow. Oh my god, that tastes fucking disgusting. I need to pack my suitcase, so I thought I would pack my suitcase to a little pack with me moment. But also show you what I picked up from the store because the other day I actually went into the store, met one of the people from the team and also picked up a few items. I say a few items. The woman gave me a lot of shit and I'm really, really grateful for it because it's all really, really nice. I was saying to the woman, I used to wear Gap a lot as a kid, but then obviously since growing up, I've not really worn much Gap. Like my parents used to dress me head to toe in Gap. So when I told my mum I was actually going to Paris with Gap, she was like, oh my god, that's so crazy. I'll show you what I got. Some really really cool pieces actually, I'm really surprised. I'm gonna put them in my suitcase. Oh my god, this sand in this suitcase from LA. Memory. The first thing I've got is these trousers, which are really really cool. They have this like little buckle moment on the front, as you can see. I think this is super cool for Gap. Like even the woman when we were picking them out, she's like, oh my god, that's so fun for Gap. And then they just like this stretchy material. I don't know, they're really really comfy as well. So I picked these up. I also got some black ones of these, which I'm actually gonna travel in tomorrow. I then got this blue jumper, which is a woman's jumper, and you can probably see that the sleeves are this like shoulder part is quite like poofed up. I thought under like a black denim jacket it'll look really really cool. I just wanted to add a pop of colour. Next up, oh my god this is so soft. This is what I'm travelling in tomorrow. I just have this plain grey. I say plain grey, it's got the Gap logo on, but this grey Gap jumper. When I say this is probably the softest jumper and not even because I'm going on a trip to Gap. This is like the softest jumper I think I own. Definitely gonna wear this, literally live and die in this when I come back and also whilst I'm there. But I'm wearing that tomorrow morning so I'm gonna leave that out. I then picked up some black jeans, just some simple black gap denim jeans. Really, really like these. They're a really, really nice denim and also fit really well as well. And I've got these jeans. I don't know if these are women's. Some of these jeans are women's, some of these jeans are men's. But I picked up these, which are really, really cool. These are more like come to your ankles. You can see a little ripped moment in the knee. I think these are really, really cool as well. I didn't realise like the prices of Gap. And it is, to be honest, for a high street store, quite expensive. But when you feel like the materials, it's such good quality. Nice little grey number. It just says Gap on the front and then originals embroidered in the front as well. I think this is really, really nice. Again, so fucking soft. I don't think you can see that, but it's like the softest material in the world, so that's really fun. Oh, fun! I picked up this grey Gap t-shirt, as you can see. Plain grey t-shirt again, just says Gap on the front, but it's really, really thick, so I like that. Oh, I love this. I forgot I got this. This is a black on black crew neck. Very me. Like, this is very, like, me, but Gap. And I think it's really, really cute. It's like a fleecy material as well, so it's super, super soft. I'd love to know what, like, type of fabric it's made out of. Probably a dumb question. It's probably, like, what fabric every jumper's made out of, but if I ever release merch again. I definitely want it to be this material because when I say it's so fucking cosy, I mean it's so fucking cosy. Oh, these are the black trousers. So, the grey trousers that I showed you a minute ago with the little buckle moment. I just got them in black as well. I'm actually going to wear these to travel in because they're super, super comfy. I believe this bag just has jackets in. So, I picked up a couple jackets as well. We have this fun moment. So, this is like a corduroy trucker jacket. I actually have two of these. So, I couldn't choose between the navy and the black because the navy went better with some outfits and I was like, but the black's going to go with more. The one would just like have both, so I, I have both. But it's really, really cute, as you can see. Just a like navy corduroy moment. It probably looks black in camera, but this is the navy one, the black one. I will show you in a sec. It's the exact same, but I'll show you that anyway. But this one has black on black. It's not got the white wool at the top. It's just got black on black, which I think is really, really nice. I'm gonna wear this a lot, actually. I really like that cap jumper. <laughs> There's some really nice stuff. Did I not show you any of it? 
No. But it's so soft, isn't it? Oh, I might get one. I was just saying to my vlog, it's really, really soft, but I feel like it sounds like I'm being like, oh my god, I'm going to pound some no, cat. This is so soft, but it's generally like the softest oh, jumper. My vlog it is actually really soft. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so like, oh my god, it was, oh, you're not going to understand because you don't watch Peep Show, but it's like false product endorsement, do you know what I mean? And they're like, hey. When they're like, oh my god, I love that tap. Can I buy the tap? <laughs> and then last but not least in here, I got this denim jacket. I'm not massively a denim jacket type of guy. Red denim jacket. This. <laughs> Red denim jacket. I thought this would go really, really well with some of the outfits, especially the black jumper, like the black on black with this over the top. I think that'd be really, really nice. And also, I feel like Gap denim jackets are just like signature pieces for like Gap. But yeah, that is all the stuff I picked up. Thank you so much, Gap, by the way. Like, this is crazy. Like, we, I added it all up as well, and it comes to like 700 pounds. So, like, Gap really do spoil me. Like, hi, Gap, my sugar daddy. I'm really excited for the trip as well. But like I said, I'm so fucking nervous because I don't know anyone on the trip. For one, it's my first ever brand trip, so that like, I don't know what to expect. But also, like, I don't know anyone going like I've never I don't follow any other people on Instagram that are going like it's not even like I know them online like I literally know nothing about them which is kind of a good thing because then I'm gonna go into it with no expectation whatsoever for anyone but it also makes me nervous because like I'm hoping they're nice I mean they should be like please be nice I just wish I were feeling my best so that I could like give up my everything to the people on the trip so I'm so dumb but I'm gonna be worrying about that the entire weekend because I don't want people to think I'm like a moongy fucking also that's the situation right my suitcase is all packed and ready I think I've massively overpacked but we're just gonna deal with that for now so everything's ready my toiletries are still out because i need to sort myself out in the morning i literally just showered and now i'm gonna get in bed so i actually look so gross but yeah on that note i will chat to you in the morning when i'm up bright and early and off to paris i've not been to paris literally since i went on a school trip in like year 11. i'm really excited to go back but that's the situation i am gonna end the vlog here i need to take some paris email and stuff before i actually get in bed so i'm gonna do that make sure you stay tuned for the paris vlogs i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can like i said my itinerary is pretty jam-packed i'm gonna try and make as much content out there as i possibly can so make sure you subscribe turn on the bell thing, do all that fun stuff and I'll chat to you hopefully sometime soon with Paris vlogs fingers crossed, I mean I will but like whether or not they'll be good or not is another story so just stay tuned for that